So another wild week on the markets, but as uh, we've seen, what's the knock-on effect on currencies? For more on this, we're joined by Keith Miller, a currency strategist from Corporate FX, a company that provides currency investment services. Now, Keith, of course, the bad news all started in the U.S. with the subprime fiasco. It seems like most of the bad news comes from there, yet the dollar is doing really well. Why is that? It does. Well, if you look historically, you mentioned there the beginning of the fiasco, which was around about 12 months ago. The U.S. Uh, and the Fed were extremely quick to react. They had their eyes wide open, if you like, and they went ahead of the curve. And they started slashing interest rates, trying to stimulate the economy, giving the, uh, the, the, the average American uh, tax rebates, if you like. Um, and they were reacting much quicker than anybody else in the world. And are you finding now that people are r rushing to the dollar just because because of his long-term reputation in the past? Uh, there's two main reasons why, why the dollar, we're seeing so much strength in the dollar now. And the first one is exactly that which I just spoke about. Um, they were quick to react, they were ahead of the curve, so they, they've immediately got confidence. And historically, in any global uh, turndown, uh, people run to safe havens. And that safe haven is more often than not the, the US dollar. Where else, would, uh, where, where else would people go? Now in uh, Asia, we're seeing the yen actually strengthening at the moment, and that's really the last thing that all their exporters want. It is, yeah. It's, it's an export-led economy uh, in Japan, and, and they rely heavily on the US, they rely heavily on Europe, and obviously the UK to export their products to. Um, when the yen strengthens, that makes these products a lot more expensive uh, for us to buy. Um, and that is a major problem for Japan, and that has a knock-on effect on the whole of the Asian region because they're all very similar. Um, so certainly this strong yen is not something that Japanese exporters are encouraging. Now, you and I both live in the UK. We're now seeing, you know, finance and economics on the front page of the newspapers pretty much all the time. It's incredible to see how far the pound has sunk, especially against the dollar, just, just in a few months. Is there any hope for the pound? There is. Uh, the long-term prospects are, we, you know, we are going to be okay. We're going to have a very tough... 2009. Expect, uh, expect no miracles to 2009. There's going to be an awful lot of adversity, but of course in this adversity there's going to be opportunities. There's going to be opportunities for business. Um, anybody who is relying too much on importing at the moment needs to diversify. They need to change their tactic and they need to start exporting as much as they can. There will be opportunity. There is optimism out there. We've just got to go through a lot of pain before we see that gain. All right. Keith Murphy from Corporate FX. Good insight. Thanks, Thanks very much. much.